All right, screw it. We're doing this live. It's, it has been a very long time since I live streamed, so. Traveling a lot, uh, obviously the Miami thing. Uh, been out of town for that uh, with a few of the Discord members and loyal followers. Um, I'm editing the Miami versus Miami, Miami versus Indian Wells uh, relatively soon, so. Actually, you know what? I have a different setup for this next time. I'm pretty excited. I forgot I had this shotgun mic. It's like right over there. That I could just like hang like right over here. So I don't have to have this thing every single time. Um, next time, next time. I forgot I could do that for live streams. I would just have to hook it up. Hook the shotgun mic up to the camera. Use the camera audio for the main feed. Yeah, I could do that. All right. Headlinks tour. Time to get started. Called the Wilson Tour. It's the worst paint job, man. Worst paint job of any tense record I've ever seen. Everybody's Sunday coming along pretty good. Not bad. Coffee, too. Slytherin forever. God, I love Slytherin.
cam. Did I get the did I get the gamma wise adapter? Yes, I did. Um, it's kind of annoying because now it's the same height, which is great, but it's annoying because I can't swivel 360 all the way because the handle's in the way. Um, but it makes it saves the grommet a lot of life. So I highly recommend you guys get whatever adapter you have. Oh, what's up, Ian? I haven't seen you in a while. I actually haven't seen you in person in a while either. It's been a hot minute. So hopefully everything's good with the fam. What's up, Radis? Um, let's see, Cam. Uh, I think the Gamma Wise adapter is only 45. So I, I think it's worth it to save, to save some grommets. Happy Sunday, everybody. A little coffee, a little, little lo-fi. <sighs> smells like it's going to be a great day. I'm also watching uh, University of Wisconsin on Milwaukee women's tennis match. Actually, how did they do? Let's take a look. Oh, not Michigan. I was watching some of their match play yesterday because I had some time. But a, a friend of mine um, is now the head coach there. And they're a Division I program. They're around mid-D1, maybe slightly higher than mid-D1 uh, for women's tennis. But it's no surprise they have a lot. They have no Americans on their team. Oh, they lost against Cleveland State? They play Youngstown later today, 1 p.m. Central. Cleveland State, they got the doubles point. I guess the only other win was the one I was watching, Amelia Durska. She's from Poland. Abby lost. Ooh, Sarah got bagel. Oof. Lar lost. Ooh, that's t a lot of three setters, though. Surprised Nadia lost. Nadia usually pulls it out at two. But yeah, I'll do that later today. Saving grommets is what? Yeah, saving grommets is a little bit. Uh, Ian, are you in my what part of uh what part of Florida? I also hate Miami as a city. Miami, like a little preview, guys. Miami is my least favorite major city in the U.S. to visit. It was not a good time. I did not like Miami at all. Is Na Ian, is Naples like literally like just filled with retirees? Is that like a true, uh, is that a true stereotype? How far is Fort Myers from Naples? So it's just you now, you Nelson right now, right? That plus help. Oh, of course. When they retire, they go to Florida. That's typically a thing.
been gloomy recently. Uh, guilty, dude, guilty. You're one of the OGs, man, on live streams. I haven't seen you in a hot minute either. Hopefully all is well. We strung two of the rackets yesterday. Still have the best angle of not tying and Parnell always gets the chuckle out of me. Dude, do, do, do people honestly not get sarcasm online? I, I do not get it. Ugh. It's a Brookfield of... Brookfield's nice, though. I mean, Brookfield is actually diverse socioeconomically. Brookfield, Wisconsin. Uh, for context, Brookfield, Wisconsin is about 12 to 15 minutes west of downtown Milwaukee. So it's, it's not that far. But I live uh, just east of Brookfield, Wisconsin. Oh, uh, man. I, I do miss live stream. It's live streaming, live stream, whatever you want to call it. It's just been busy lately. What's up, Josh? Um, diverse socioeconomically, how? Okay, so I don't have the stats on it, so this is completely anecdotal. Subjective, not objective, no stats backing this. Um, Brookfield, let's see. The majority of interactions I have with people from Brookfield in terms of just talking with them, and just looking at the housing situation and just like the local um, stores, businesses, is either middle class to lower, higher class. Uh, it is it is predominantly Caucasian, if I recall. But there was a big minority which is kind of weird to say. There's there a big minority of... Uh, how do I say this properly? A big minority of um, Indian families, like not Native Americans, but from India. And they typically are, from my interactions with them, they're in the IT and medical field. There are not a lot of Hispanics, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of Blacks. And other than the Indians that I pre mentioned, not a big Asian population. That's why I said it's more surprisingly from what I expected it to be. Back when I moved here in 2012, it's a lot more diverse than I initially thought. Still not as diverse as like downtown Milwaukee, specifically the South side where there is a big Hispanic population. Um, but it's a lot more diverse now than I initially thought when I first moved here back in 2012, because I did live in Waukesha for two years, 2012 through 
Uh, sick. No, I'm not using the DR98. It gave me a lot of elbow problems. A lot of el it's a great racket. Not perfect. It's it's almost perfect, I would say, but it's it's so bad for my elbow. Believe it or not, sick. I have not messed around with any. Um, I, I haven't messed around with any pro stocks. Uh, pro stocks really aren't a thing in Wisconsin, Milwaukee area. There's only one guy that I know that has pro stocks, um, but they're, they're freaking expensive, man. Pro stocks are. How much is a, a like a decent pro stock racket? It's like what a hundred? No. 250 no that's that's a regular racket 300 350 for a pro stock racket that's insane i would just beef up my old ones eh Sometimes, some t uh, Sony's are pretty good, and I obviously have a Sony camera. It usually is good autofocus like that, but sometimes you gotta mess around with it. Actually, I need a shallow depth of field. Oh, I don't know how to do it with this camera. Nope, nope, let's not. Here. There we go. Okay, okay. There, it's a little sharper. A little sharper. Okay. 298? What year was that, 10 phone? 298? What, like two years ago? 298 is pretty cheap for pro stock, isn't it? Not? Is it not? Ten phone is yours. Uh, yours is a blade, right? If I recall, or at least a, a blade paint job. Is, it, is that H twenty two? I don't know.
<sighs> Blade Pro. Okay, the Blade Pro. So Blade Pro is technically Pro Stock, right? All right. See you, 10 phone. Ugh. See, that's the thing about, sick, that's, that's the thing about reviewing tennis rackets. Um, most tennis rackets, sorry, a good majority of tennis rackets I could demo for like $2 a day at one of my local shops, right? Which is fine. Uh, give it two days. I could have a, a solid review up if I dedicate two to three hours a day for those two days each to play, review, and kind of like sit on it for a few hours uh, in terms of after writing the script and getting some B-roll. But these more rare rackets, let's say, these non-traditional mainstream rackets, such as uh, rackets that are two versions or older from the current line, or um, pro stock rackets, there's no demo program for those. So I have to like physically buy it, which is, as you said, like, 200 bucks. I'm not going to spend $200 on a video that might generate 10 to $50 of revenue plus the time spent making the video. So that's why that's why match play which is other than my time for editing and actually playing the match is the best form of revenue for me or maybe even some tutorials like stringing tennis rackets. Those are the best because it doesn't have a monetary cost for it. Stringing rackets, generally cheap. What, a packet of poly is anywhere between 10 to 20 bucks? Fine, I'll break even in terms of that. Unless it like, not goes viral, but it, it, unless it's like super, super well tractioned. Rackets are the tough one, right? Because I got to demo it. it. It doesn't make any economic sense to buy it.
let's not go back to Miami because I don't want to die in a car accident because Miami drivers are nuts. Karaoke was, dude, that was fun. My voice at the end of karaoke was shot, but thankfully the next day it was perfectly okay. Gotta love some Taylor Swift blank space. I think, Karen, every single time uh, we, we go out um, on trips like that, and I, I think we should really do Indian Wells next year. I won't even vlog it. It's just, a, it was such a good time uh, in terms of tennis spectating. We, we got to do karaoke at least once a night, or not once a night, <laughs> that'd be ridiculous. At least uh, once every trip. That'd be pretty sick. That's my second time karaoke, and the first time was at, at Nukes. Uh, apparently, I killed it. Don't recall too much from that night because. Do, 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 Texas moms. Um, yeah, ka karaoke was fun. On both accounts. Moist Panda did a good job with, uh, I'm a Barbie girl from a Barbie world. I was cracking up the entire time. Hello, Barbie. Let's go, Barbie. Jeez. All right. All right, Moist Panda. See my dog in the back? Oh, no, you don't see me. What's up, dude? How's your phone? Bear, come here. Yeah, I'm saying the gravity. After all, I have five of them. And I'll, I'll go over the comparison of uh, Indian Wells in Miami in the video. I, I think I, I will record it tonight. I'll try and edit it tonight. Ho hopefully it's out by tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central. But um, the airport's only about 30 minutes. Palm, Palm Springs Airport, PSP. It's a... Uh, it's only a 30 minute drive from Indian Wells, which is nice. So Dares has a buddy that has like property there. So 
we should have a good deal. But um, obviously, it's up to Dares and his friend. So hopefully, he could pull through with something. It's it's a much better experience than Miami. Miami was. So that was not like I was grateful hanging out with you guys, but Miami in terms of the tournament, not a good time. Um, the the that is the worst stadium court I I could not not that I've necessarily been to, which it is. It's the worst contraption of an abomination of what. A stadium court should be in terms of tennis. Like, here's a little, a little spoiler, right? If you go to Miami, don't buy stadium tickets. Six of the grounds pass. The grounds pass is like 25 or 30 bucks a day. The side courts are fine. It's more than fine for regular viewing. The stadium court seating cost for me, for shit seats, cost me $850 over three days. And the first day, Friday, was a rainout with no refund. So I'm pissed. <laughs> I was so pissed. And I will go over that in my review. I, I will 100% lay into it. Not a good time. James Blake, who's the tournament director, I'm a big James Blake fan in terms of his tennis and what he's done for American tennis. It's a shit show. I, no, I do not like it. Don't go to Miami. If you go to Miami, first of all, don't go to Miami. If you go to Miami, don't buy stadium tickets for the Open. Yeah, no. Play in the heat. You're, you're a pro. You're a pro athlete. Play in the play in the heat. Don't be a wuss. Banks Evans court one was in that forehand slice from Eubanks forehand slice to save match point passing shot USA USA the whole crowd was it was freaking hilarious Big energy, big Eubanks energy, big Chris energy.
I Eric likes eating. One down, one to go. You okay, Bear? Bang, bang, Niner gang. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's dirty all right, Karen. Every NFL team that knocks the Green Bay Packers out of playoffs, I buy equipment from. Because <laughs> I'm a troll. second uh yonix he's a one one hundred oh eric yeah i keep on forgetting state league happens for some people in different parts of the u.s what's up bear you okay you okay buddy
Oh, I hate no-shows. What is my dog doing? I'm making sure that... Make sure my dog didn't kill himself. Okay, he didn't self-delete. It was just his bone hitting the ground. Starting the center means the way you did. Aren't you only getting half the tension? Starting the center? What do you mean? Bear is not trying to escape. No. He loves being here. Starting the center strings means the way you did. Aren't you getting half the tension? It's not like per perfect, but it's, it's, I would say close enough. Next one I'll do, uh, I'll do what is like considered accurate. But for the center strings, it does even out after you stretch out, after you start pulling tension from both sides of the mains. That's how I think about it. How do junk ballers find hitting partners? They don't, because no one wants to hang out and hit with them. Thomas Price, do not go to the Miami Open. It was not, in terms of the tennis tournament, not a, not a good time. Not a good time. It's Thomas Price. It's the editing. It's the editing. Um, as Karen said, we did make the best of it. Wait for my comparison video. Like, here's the thing. Like, anything... Let's see. Maybe not string reviews or racket. Maybe not equipment reviews. But any, any vlog I do, I'll always edit the video 
in a way where I'm looking like I'm having a good time. And I did have a good time. I, I did in Miami. Uh, met up with some of the Discord, uh, some of the people there, like Karen, um, Eric Lex Eaton, um, and a few other moderators like Dares from my Discord. They've been with me for a very long time. And I've known them from, I've known Eric. I've seen, I've met Eric Lex Eaton before. Uh, when he came to the Milwaukee area, uh, Karen and uh, Dares from Nukes, two, was it two years ago? A year and a half ago. Really good time. A lot of drinking. The I always edit the vlogs as if I'm having a good time, just because no one wants to watch a vlog where the person vlogging is not having a good time. This isn't some Darren Aronofsky, who, who's a director, a good director. Uh, this isn't some sort of Lars von Trier, another director who's very, very dark, uh, kind of like vlogging movie. It has to be more lighthearted. Um, lighthearted is not even like, by lighthearted, I mean yes, lighthearted, but also a lot of a lot of sun, a lot of cool stuff, because that's what tennis is kind of meant to be. A, a lot of a lot of things in the sunlight. You'll see what I'm talking about in the comparison of Miami versus Indian Wells. Indian Wells, Thomas Rice. No, Miami was not my first tennis tournament. It's like my fifth tennis tournament I've been as a spectator for pros. Um, Indian Wells, by far and away, in every aspect except weather, this is a little preview, every aspect except weather, Indian Wells is way better than Miami Open. Um, Turner, this is Gamma Progression 2, modified with a Wise Tensioner 2086 with the Gamma Adapter. Brad Cranford, I'll take a look on the DT after I string this one. It doesn't affect it, from what I recall. Oh, Karen's on it, nice. Thank you, Karen.
Uh, Thomas Price, you emailed me. Let me double check. Yes, you did email me on March 3rd. I'll take a look at it later. Um, I was traveling a lot that time, so sorry if it slipped, but it's on my start. Dropway stringers, yeah. Mint? Ignis is good, surprisingly. Um, yeah, it's slower. It's accurate. It's constant pull, unlike crank. Uh, Turner, when you get the money, after you make enough money, um, I would, again, I'm not sponsored by Wise Tensioner 20, uh, the Wise Tensioner, but upgrade to a Wise Tensioner. It's, it's super fantastic. It made my life a lot easier. Let's see, the Ignis guy, apparently he doesn't speak English very well. Uh, he's from California, if I recall correctly. Uh, they do make good stuff. They actually make good... Uh... They make very... Okay, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but this is the Ignis website. <laughs> Save equals profit. I cannot imagine a more accurate tagline for company Ignis. Um, bad stranger service? Yo, this is... Back in the 2000s, there were better websites than this. Maybe I should do a website for him. Okay. Professional electronic stringing machines. good one. Two grand? That's a really good deal. Um, what you could do... Let me see the wise tension here. Yeah, it's bad. Who's the one that commented on this? Turner. Here you go, Turner. Yeah. It's... Okay. So, what, what, Turner, what machine do you have? have any cranks it's all electronic okay so that's that's decent Just the color schemes are horrible okay, my model numbers ignis beta no ignis alpha so that's a good one actually 
So th- for those of you, oh, you can't upgrade that though. That's the issue. So for those of you that are thinking about buying a string machine, this is actually a really good deal. Um, thirteen hundred US plus free string. No one really cares. website dude this horrible website um oh you you got me on facebook (laughs) nice um buy a machine like this right a stand-up crank six-pointer and then buy this tension head to mount it up to convert your stringer your crank stringer oh it's only two they dropped the price. I thought it was like 850, was it not a few years ago? So for under two grand, or for two grand, you could have a professional electronic string machine for two grand. Imagine that. That's what I would recommend. I didn't know Ignis made it that cheap. Good for them. So who the hell Facebook message me? Yeah, that's that's a pretty good deal. Uh oh, Turner sent me a video. Turner, can I play this on stream? Is that okay? Let me know. What MR style? What machine do I use? I use a Gamma Progression two with a Wise Tensioner um, instead of a crank. Okay. That's a good one. I'm just, I don't know if you could convert the turn. I don't know if you can convert a drop weight into this 20, this, te- this, te- this tensioner. You're gonna have to do some research. Must be a cheap one. How much was that? Like 500 bucks? Couldn't have been that much. Is it the Challenger one? Yeah, it looks like the Challenger one. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to Wimbledon this year. Too much going on. Uh, Nikhil Koli, I saw your video about the older E zones versus the new ones. I want to know what you think it's feasible to convert the light version yeah you can convert it as long as you have a balance board and a weight you should be fine How often do i string during the winter i string about 10 a week during the summer 20 plus mainly because of the boy season and people want their uh rackets to be fresh um for out- outside hitting
Hola, pare. Hola, Ivan. Um, where's the next tennis tournament I'm going to play? Um, I This summer, let's see, because I'm not trav, I'm only traveling once this summer for an ITF Masters with my buddy Alex, and me and him won Calgary earlier this year in, in doubles. We're going to do at least one ITF Masters. I don't know where yet. Because uh, my job ends April 26th, three days after my birthday. I'll be 34, which is nuts. Um, so I'm looking, I'm interviewing right now. I have a lot of interview, interviews on my plate, which is good. Um, so I don't want to travel too much because I don't know what job I'm going to take yet and how flexible they are in terms of me taking off for a few days. I'm always a villain. Always. Uh, I'm doing... Two ITA circuit tournaments, one in Milwaukee and one in Evanston, Illinois. I believe that Evanston, Illinois one is in a Northwestern campus. So, yeah. Happy birthday. You don't have a job anymore. <laughs> That's basically it. Streamweaver, it makes it easier to like not notch. Is it necessary? No, I like to use it. Uh, it does get annoying towards the throat though. Like you're, you'll start to see, like I can't push it back any further. So I take it off towards the last few mains. But for the string weaver, it's not really necessary for like a hybrid setup. Um, but Headlink's tour is shaped and it's fairly rough for a poly. Not rough, uh, stiff. So it makes my life a lot easier for not notching. If you bury back, gotta drop off the kids at the pool. Give me two minutes.
All right, sorry about that. Didn't want to take you guys into dropping off the kids in the pool, if you know what I mean. So. Yeah. Let's see. Thomas Oh, ooh, Turner, you should make a hitting video with my one single. He's a great player. Extreme Western. Turner, what? Are you in college or high school? What's up, Sweeta? What's up, best doubles player in Waterloo? How's everything? Uh, Thomas Price, what job are you going to software engineer or something tennis? Okay, so here's the thing. I love tennis more than programming. I honestly do. The people you meet... The travel opportunities, uh, speaking different languages because tennis is a worldwide thing. I'm not saying software engineering isn't, um, but tennis is more, um, it's more tangible in most aspects. The problem is <laughs> tennis doesn't pay anywhere close to software engineering. It's not even close. Oh, you're local. High school. Part-time at the WAC, Lake Country. Yeah, tell tell uh tell Tim Hartwick I said hi. Uh tell Jake S I said hi, and I still own him. I, I the first time I played Jake in singles in a summer renegade league, I beat him 0-1. <laughs> this is right back coming back from Wimbledon. I was so jet lagged. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, tell him I said hi, and I, I do want to play him again on a recorded video, recorded tennis match. That'd be pretty sick. Um, ask any white collar career person that has taught tennis. Coaching slash teaching tennis does not pay well. The only exception is like if you're an outlier, like uh, Carousel, Ian Westerman, were. It is his full-time gig. And... It doesn't pay. Dude, software engineering, it's so good. Oh, literally, uh, Turner, uh, Jack W just texted me about stringing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Oh wait, is that you? No, you're Turner, you're not Jack. <laughs> All these uh, nicknames kind of getting confused. Tennis does not... Tennis does not pay. <laughs> it's not. I'm so happy I'm a programmer slash engineer. Tennis does not pay. It literally is a money thing. <laughs> Yeah, so you aren't you are not Jack W. He had long hair. I don't know if he's cut it recently. I haven't seen him in a year either. Well, because he also teaches part-time at the WAC, and I thought that was you. Um, yeah, I thought that was you, Turner. Turner, did we ever meet in person at the WAC? I used to be there back in the day. Yeah. Tim, Tim, Tim and Mono are doing a good job there. They just need more courts. What's 
up, buddy? Hi, bear. How are you? We're going for a walk in 15 minutes. Are you ready? 15 minutes? You ready? It's almost lunch time. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at this good boy. Look at him. He's going to be my ball boy soon. Uh, my new job, it's going to be still software, my main job. Yeah. Hi. Ooh. You want a string for me? Super part-time, only for the gym membership. Yeah, don't worry. That's what I did too. For the free court time, and then they had no free court time because they're doing so well. It's stupid though, because you're incentivized to reserve a tennis court as a member. You're incentivized to reserve the court <coughs> as doubles, right? Because I think if you only book a tennis court under two members, singles, you only do it what, 24 hours? But if it's doubles, you do it for a week in advance. You should always be the villain, never be the hero. Yeah, that's that's the reason why I put in my week's note. My uh, actually, was, I was like, I, I just I literally said to Tim, "Hey, I uh, don't, I didn't quit. I just got on a phone call with Tim because he was doing the scheduling for the upcoming indoor season, and I said, don't hire me. Like, literally, do not hire me. It's not worth my time because I would have to travel. Let's see. He wanted me to work." Saturday and Sunday for like two hours each, right? So four hours, right? Two hours Saturday, two hours Sunday. And it was like at four to six o'clock both days. And I think I got paid like maybe $20 an hour. So I would have to travel because it's about 25, let's say 30 minutes away from me, right? So I have to travel 30 minutes to, to the WAC, to the tennis club, make $40 and then travel back and do that again on Sunday. Like, that's that's the issue. This is a complete first world problem. That's the issue of making good money at your salary job is that you start thinking things about time and not actually 
the money aspect, right? This is both a good and a bad thing because there are literally things that I can do for money. Like, for example, coaching tennis outside. I could do that for money, but I honestly think my time and effort is spent better elsewhere, like hanging out with my dog or actually playing tennis or making YouTube videos, even though it would pay less because I like it more. Like, I don't want to travel one hour total to make 40 bucks and spend two hours of doing something that I'm not, I mean, I'm, I like coaching. I don't love it. I'm not super passionate about coaching, not gonna lie. I, I'd rather be a hitting partner or like a consultant for a high level tennis kit instead of feeding tennis balls all day or teaching people how to you know, hit a topspin forehand. Well, for me, gas isn't a problem because I have a Tesla. So, you know, it's significantly less cost. But the main reason, it wasn't necessarily for the $80 a weekend kind of thing. Um, it, it was for the free court time where I could hit with people that I normally can't hit with at Elite Sports Club, which is another uh, local four-building uh, four indoor facility in, in the area. But because they're so busy between November and March, I can't book a court for fun, even for an hour. So it's not worth it. So yeah, I'd, I'd rather not. And it, like, it was no, no hostility. It's just, dude, it's like, Tim, this is how much I make. This is how much I think my time is valued in terms of my, my leisure time, my outside 40 hours a week thing. I, I would never say like, I make this much money. I need this. No, it's, it's about, is it worth it in terms of effort and time? And I was like, no, I don't think it is. So please don't hire me again. At least for a while. We'll see. But that's that's my rant. And it's no secret that let's see, I'm a, I'm a software I'm a software engineer of seven years now professionally. Cause I, I did self teaching after uh, a few sales job things. Uh I'm a, I'm a senior software engineer. It's it, it's a good life. So I want to do the stuff that I want to do, right? Hang out with you. And I, I, de I do need to stream more often. Um, I love the amount of tennis I'm playing. I love that my dog requires attention from me because it keeps me grounded. Like, we're going to go for a one-mile walk after this. Yeah. Well, uh, apprentice ele electricians, I don't know how much you make an hour, but um, electricians and, like, these trade labor uh, careers... They're very underrated. It doesn't require a four-year degree. It's literally an apprenticeship. You could make really good money as an electrician, even without a typical four-year college degree. And without electricians, without engineers, without plumbers, without um, you know, w w without trade careers, the whole this whole country's infrastructure would be not good <laughs> like that's one of the that's one of the biggest factors in terms of how do I how do I put this without sounding controversial the trades in terms of an industry plumbing electrician stuff like that is one of the biggest reasons America is not a third world country uh, along with other things so based on what I've seen in terms of how much an electrician or the trades make it's a lot better than most people think yeah it's hard work but it's also incredibly rewarding because again you don't need to go through your four-year college degree i do you get do you would they like a two-year degree i don't know it's an apprenticeship so no i did not go to msoe but i have a lot of friends that went to msoe um and even the civil engineering um and electrical engineering a lot of them are saying that it really shouldn't be a four-year degree should be an apprenticeship um oh you did go to msoe i didn't know about that soy 78 milwaukee school of engineering university it's not msoe it's msoeu uh structural engineer are you civil soy 78 because i think you're a little bit older than me we're around the same age i think you got a few years on me but you 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 make good money as a structural engineer and i think you're in florida yeah you're in florida right 
Um, you could make six figures easily as a tradesman. Around four years of being in the industry, I, I think. I, I, I don't have the stats on this, but I was shocked at how much money they can make. The issue is it's not necessarily highly thought of in terms of uh, social status. You're working a physical job. It's not the best job in terms of like, especially if plumbing, you have to deal with a lot of shit, no pun intended. Um, but every good nation, every good society needs to have tradespeople. Otherwise, countries' infrastructures will fall apart. It's very underrated. It's hard, but it's very underrated in terms of like the value it brings in my opinion. Uh, Amine, uh, I have not played the, with uh, any of the new Yonix uh, lines, including the Percept. Uh, so 78, so you work for an insurance company, right? Or are you independent? Work for an engineering engineering firm. <laughs> okay. So if you're doing inspection and forensic engineering, you're almost doing detective work, isn't it? Good for you. And especially with the insurance claims, you're almost like a lawyer to an extent. Titan rackets are fine. Uh, the uh, uh, what you call it? The the Nova. It still gave me elbow problems. That's why I had to stop on it. Um, I, I do have, uh, my own charger in my parking garage spot. I do. No trials yet, but they're, they, I'd be shocked in the next, like, let's say five to 10 years that if you don't, if they don't consult you, um, for 
some sort of claim with insurance because you, you'd be the subject matter expert. But you're base you're doing detective work, but instead of like investigating a murder, you're investigating like uh, documents, structural integrity, stuff like that, right? Soy seventy eight. I prefer the 98, Jerome. The journey like to learning to string? Uh, your first one is gonna be like 45 minutes to three hours on your first one. Uh, but obviously you have tutorials up there. Um, the hardest part is starting and stopping in terms of like stringing. It's easy once you get going. I suggest you do it. It's always a good skill to have as a passionate tennis player. Jerome. But let me know if you have any questions with that. Kind of dreading the summer teaching season coming. Up. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, I, I, I'm not a fan of teaching tennis. That's not, that's not my calling. That, that's not my calling. I'm too selfish. All right, guys, do me a favor. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hit that notification bell uh, for more original tennis content. Um, and if you guys like watching uh, video games or like playing video games, do me a favor, check me out on Twitch. It really does help. Um, another way for you guys to interact with me. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down section below. I'll answer the comments while I'm walking my dog in like 30 minutes or better yet, uh, join my Discord where we have a lot of people now, right? Discord, 1500 members. No, almost 2,000. Dude, I'm almost at 20k subs, which is pretty good. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. I'll, I'm going to be doing this more often. I've just been super busy lately. So, as always, guys, happy knitting.